when you look at incentives for investors, talk to me a little bit about where you're hoping to bring in foreign investment because the attack back in 2015 that left 38 people dead at a hotel in Tunisia, by an ISIS fanatic, that attack, really turned a lot of people off. Your tourism sector since then is coming back. What are the incentives that you can offer to foreign investors? Yes, for, for investors, we were trying to work on the, to create what we call an enabling environment, enabling environment for investment and for business. And we started doing that by voting, voting a new uh, investment code that entered into force in uh, April 2017, a new PPP law, uh, uh, fighting corruption. The government launched a, a strong uh, fight against corruption, and uh, we did that also for having a transparent and uh, fair competition between uh, different uh, economic actors. So we're trying to have a lot of action, also facilitating uh, administrative procedure in order to uh, uh, attract uh, foreign direct investment. But I think, as I mentioned, Tunisia is very competitive for the reason I mentioned, and I think any uh, uh, industrial today in Europe should consider Tunisia as an investment site. Uh, the workforce is highly educated in Tunisia. The security is here. The, the, uh, the infrastructure, uh, including uh, power generation and also geographical situation. Uh, I mean, this can create a lot of condition for competitivity and we start to see uh, some investors coming, for example, from uh, West, Eastern Europe to Tunisia and also Western Europe because of those conditions start to prevail in Tunisia. What sectors are the most attractive other than tourism where the government can really work with the private sector? Of course, you know, tourism is uh, less than 10% of our GDP. Agriculture remains a very attractive uh, industry in Tunisia. Uh, uh, but those are what we call the classical business model of Tunisia. Probably we should we, we try to turn to uh, uh, digital economy. Uh, Tunisia has a high level of uh, educated people and uh, graduated people in the digital economy and also renewable. This should be the future for Tunisia. 2018, we start the first uh, renewable uh, station in Tunisia producing electricity from uh, uh, wind and from uh, uh, solar energy. This is a huge area for Tunisia since if you look to our um, balance, uh, the deficit is coming from the importation of energy. So here we can really uh, doing a, a progress and we create the condition. There is a law that was voted last year and then we start implementing a, a, a lot of projects in producing uh, renewables. So renewable, digital economy, plus all other sectors uh, like uh, uh, services. Tunisia can be, for example, for healthcare, a hub for Africa and for Europe because uh, uh, there are uh, enough doctors, there are a good uh, uh, capacity, a good uh, uh, workforce for that, and there is the proximity with Europe and with other countries. So services also is another, uh, there is a room to grow there. Still watching? Perfect. Click here to watch another great video from CNBC International. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.